Breaking news coming in. Tata Motors to spin off business in two listed companies. Let's go across to my colleague Tushar Deep Singh for more on this. Tushar? Yeah, thank you so much, Pallavi, for this. This is actually a big breaking news right after the markets closed. And you can call it the big reset by Tata Motors as it looks into an electrified future. So what has actually happened is Tata Motors is splitting its uh, stock into two, into two listed units, one which will house the commercial vehicles business and the other the passenger vehicle business that includes passenger cars like the Tiago and the, and the Nexon and the Punch, the electric vehicle business, as well as the JLR uh, component of its business. So that's the demerger that they're doing. Both the companies will now be listed. Uh, the demerger will be implemented through an NCLT scheme of arrangement. All shareholders will continue to have identical shareholding in both the listed entities. Uh, the demerger approval is supposed to take about 12 to 15 months. That's what the company is telling us, has said in an exchange filing. No adverse impact on the staff, customers, and operations due to the demerger. Now, what that essentially means, this actually can be seen as a natural prog progression of the subsidiarization that happened within Tata Motors three years ago. Remember, CV business was separate within the company. The passenger vehicles business was also a separate subsidiary. The electric vehicles was also a separate subsidiary. Now, Tata Motors is be taking all the passenger components together into one company that is a listed company and the second into CV. So essentially this is a reset of sorts for Tata Motors. Pallavi. Okay, uh, so Tushar, like you've mentioned, the demerger process will take about 12 to 15 months. Uh, is that the timeline we're looking at for investors as well? Yeah, so essentially, this is what we know at this point of time. Right. So investors should look at this timeline itself. So Tata Motors, I'm sure it's aware of what it's going to do in the next 12 to 15 months. The NCLT approvals, how they come in. So investors should be looking at that kind of timeline itself.